taking shelter underneath this overhang again. This isn't the best place to be in a thunderstorm. I'm just trying to make the best of a bad situation. Uh, that's a metal roof. It's like a lightning rod. There wasn't much lightning last night, but it's supposed to be more severe today than it was yesterday. Yesterday was just like a little bit of wind, a little bit of rain. It's supposed to just, starting right around now, it's supposed to increasing chance of thunderstorms and really damaging winds, 40 to 50 mile an hour, they said. And when they start saying, they start giving you, you know, estimates of 40, 50 mile an hour winds, they know. That means there's 40 or 50 mile an hour winds southeast of here. That's, that's why I'm over here is, the winds are going to be coming from the southeast, so the building's blocking the, uh, it'll be blocking the rain. I can't sleep where I was last night, or I've been sleeping for the last few nights, because the wind's going to be blowing the rain right up underneath there. It's not going to be dry there. <clears throat> I'm thinking about going over where I, I've slept once before, and the guy woke me up. He didn't wake me up, but he came up and, and he came there to check on his store, do something to the store, like 5 o'clock in the morning, he caught me there. And he said, oh, that's cool, I don't care. And he gave me nine bucks, too. Uh, he, you know, okay, fine. He said he doesn't care, but I know he does, okay? It's not like he wants me to move into his little alcove. But I'm thinking about moving in tonight. That's the ideal spot. The winds are going to be coming from the southwest, from the southwest to the northeast. And that's a perfect spot. I mean, that little tunnel that's there, uh, if it's blowing hard enough, the rain's going to be just blowing all the way through that alcove like a shotgun shell okay but if that happens if that's not if that uh, the wind's hard enough and coming from just the right direction to where it's going to be blowing right through there then i can always pull back uh, around to the front of the building and then the building will be blocking the rain and uh it's not like i can go to the sheds there's sheds over there at the hardware store but i don't want to go there in the daytime and get in there and by the time the nighttime rolls around it's gonna be far too late to ride over there it's gonna be a thunderstorm so I'm going to go just across the street. But what there is is a, a moving truck rental place. Okay? And if it gets so bad that I'm going to get injured, struck by something, I'm getting in one of those trucks because they don't keep locked. It's a little secret. You know, I mean, I don't know. It's not a secret, but they don't lock those trucks because they don't want people breaking in thinking there's something in them. Some near-do-wells creeping around. They want to be able to just open it up, look in there, and see there's nothing in there where they don't damage the truck. So they keep them unlocked. And if I'm about to get hurt... And getting inside that truck will help me not do get struck by something or drowned, <laughs> basically. I will get inside there. This is going to be the last uh, gasp. I mean, it's going to be a final extremity <laughs> before I do that. Because, you know, you don't really want to do that. But I will. But yeah, I'll pull the camera out and take some video. Upload it if it gets really exciting. Other than that, yeah, I'll probably pull it out anyway just to show you the storm to let people see what I, you know, my reality, you know, <laughs> this is the reality of the situation. That's why I don't want to be on the road riding to Chicago right now. I've got to wait for, it's been, this has kind of been the order of the day for a while now. You know, a couple of days, nice and sunny. Like, why is he going now? Because it turns into this where it's not nice and sunny. And I've got it dialed in over here. I know where to kind of like take shelter. And I don't really have it dialed in on the cities north of here at all, okay? As a matter of fact, it looks kind of bad. And the ones I kind of do have dialed in, doesn't look good. It's, it's, it's ignorance of the conditions on some of the cities in, up north, and it's knowledge that they're not that hot, okay, that's giving me pause. I know I'll be in trouble, or I suspect strongly, or I don't know whether I will be or not. So, some of the towns, I know I'd be in trouble if I got caught in a bad thunderstorm. And other ones I suspect that, or don't know, because I don't know what the, the conditions, I've been there, <laughs> okay. Because this bike trip I'm about to take is gonna be a, most of it's gonna be a voyage of discovery. It's gonna be one of the ones I haven't done yet. I mean, I've gone from New Madrid to here, but past New Madrid, mm -mm. North of New Madrid, mm -mm. I mean, on the river, <laughs> but that means nothing. I wasn't going into the towns. You know, a couple of them, somebody gave me a ride to the Walmart from the boat ramp. They saw me on the boat ramp and went, well, I'll give you a ride, you know. Anybody watching my videos has seen that, but a bike trip, I don't, don't have a clue. From Once I get up to Keokuk, Iowa, which is right on the border of Missouri and, and Iowa uh, on the Mississippi River, then I do know all the way up to Clinton and all the way from Clinton to Chicago. I know that really well. 
got all kinds of places. I, I know where to take shelter there. You know, all, all along the way. Some of them aren't that hot, <laughs> okay? But I know places to go, you know. Anyway. <laughs>